Good evening. Hello, hello to everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Me escuchan? Hello, good, good evening. Sí, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's start. Let's review the simple past tense. Okay, en la presentación de ayer vi que aún tenemos ciertos uh, flaquencias en el pasado simple, así que bueno, hoy lo vamos a repasar un poco. El simple past tense. También. Vamos a agregar un poco el... Um, el, el, los ejercicios del de manual, así que tengan su manual listo. Let's start. For example, what time, what time did he wake up? What time did he wake up in the picture? What time did he wake up? In the volunteer. ¿Cómo responderían a esta pregunta en pasado?
What time did he wake up yesterday? What time did he wake up? ¿Algún voluntario? ¿A qué hora se levantó? What time did he wake up? He woke up at 7.25. 7.25, okay. 7.25, very good. Okay, uh, what time did he go to work? Uh, he went to work at 8 a.m. He went to work at a.m., excellent. And what happened when he was going to his job? What happened when he was going to his, his job? He had an accident. He had an accident. What was the accident? He fell out. Okay, he fell down. Good. And what was the problem he, what was the problem he found? Uh, it had a bit of traffic. No, no. Okay, yeah, he found a traffic, a big traffic. Very good. Muy bien. Okay. Uh, what did he, what did, what, what time did he arrive? What time did he arrive to his job? Arrived. Mm -hmm. All right. What time did he arrive? He arrived. Did he show up? Very late at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Very late. Very good. Excellent. Again. Okay, my question is today, uh, what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I had a... Uh... Hard day, and I had a very uh, activities okay. in my job. In your job, can you repeat it again? I had. I had. Uh, many activity activities in my job. Okay, what kind of activities you have? What? Reports. Yeah. I visit. I'm uh, sorry. Me, I visit. Okay. Uh, uh, many uh, customer. Okay, you visit many customers. Excellent. Very good. Muy bien. How about Mister? Well, Miss Claudia One. What did you do yesterday, Miss? I had a ten. Um... Any, any, any meetings? You had, I'm sorry, you had meetings. I had, uh, yes, I have a tent. Very, very meetings or muchos, muchas llamadas, muchas reuniones. Okay, you had many meetings. Mm -hmm. I have, I have many meetings. Okay, I have. I have. Many meetings or a lot of meetings. Okay. I had I have attend men pero 
siempre la attend o solo I have many meetings. Ah, y como usted guste, si quiere especificar o lo hace de forma general. Puede decir, I had 10 meetings yesterday. Atten no, attend, attend. Ah, ten. I had meetings at 10. Ah, okay. I had uh, many meetings mm. at 10. Very good, excellent. Okay, uh, what do you do on your last vacation? Mr. Guillermo, what do you do on your last vacation? Uh, in my last vacation, I went to Germany. Okay, what do you do in Germany? Uh, I visit some uh, places. Uh, I ate traditional food and I spend time with my girlfriend. With your girlfriend. Okay, excellent. Very good. Muy bien. <clears throat> Very good. <clears throat> Bueno, vamos a ir um, al manual, que okay, vamos a ver un poco de vocabulario y después vamos a repasar un poco el pasado simple. Solo quiero compartir con ustedes una presentación. Can you see my presentation now? Can you see my presentation? Yeah. Okay, so here we have, here we have the vocabulary that you studied yesterday. For example, mix. Mix, a synonym can be to combine, to combine. To combine. <clears throat> okay, to combine. Uh, those are synonym. Okay, also we have quality control. What is quality control? Mr. Luis, can you please help me to read the definition? Okay, Mr. Assistant for verify and maintain maintaining a desired level of quality in a product or process by careful planning, use of proper equip equipment, continued inspection and corrective action as required. Okay, in simple words, what are, uh, what are Quality control. ¿Qué hacen los quality control? Uh, this person uh, uh, make. Make, okay, or makes. Makes. Mm -hmm. Makes the... Makes a... Uh, uh, in a process, in um, only the the process punch punch punch. No, como se dice. Let me a second, Mister. Okay. Uh, como se dice asegurar. Assure. Okay. Uh, or, this or make this, sure. Make sure, uh, the, this person make sure that uh, all the process uh, are uh, excellent. Are uh, excellent, okay. Exactly, they check all the process uh, and they make sure if the quality of the product is right, es decir, la calidad del, produ del producto. Es right. 
He's right. Okay. Or the, the standards are high. Los estándares son? Altos. Altos. Very good. Very good. Excellent. What is the next filter? ¿Qué sería filter? How would you explain this word? ¿Cómo eh, definirían la palabra filter? Okay, well, here we have a synonym that is to remove. To remove, okay? Filter, remover, quitar. Okay, here we have capping. Capping, anything resembling or um, suggestive of a converting of the head in shape, use or position a cap on the bottle. Okay, poniendo ahí la tapadera, como el salvadoreño. Okay, the capping. Also, we have leveling. Leveling. Okay. It's, uh, it's an action uh, of... of uh, uh, Putting um a package teacher. I'm sorry. A, a package. Package. Paquete. And or oh, empacate. Exactly. To package the product. Yeah. Okay. Next. Mister, uh, have... una pregunta. Yeah. Uh, La anterior eh, lay, lay being, mm -hmm. lay being, no es como etiquetar, como, como poner una viñeta. Mm, no. Porque, I'm sorry, la lay es etiquetar. Ajá. Hey. Podemos ver la, la, la anterior. Sí, con gusto. Ok. Esta eh, eh, es labeling no es como 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 poner viñeta como lo que dice el compañero como etiquetar, etiquetar. Mm -hmm. Ajá. leveling yes sí porque la siguiente es la que la que está ahí creo que sí es packing es packing es packing. empacar empacar, sí. empacar. o empaquetar Okay. Eh, eso dice eh, deslizar o pegar un pedazo de papel, ropa o otro material para indicar eh, su manufacture, eh, a quién le pertenece o qué tipo. Okay. Sería como uh -huh. etiquetar en la producción. Y este, que ¿cómo dijimos que era? Empacar. Empacar. <coughs> Good. Etiqueta, label. Etiquetar. Sí, pero Mr. Luis dijo otra palabra, se me olvidó. Eh, esa es la, la anterior. Uh, leveling. Uh -huh, leveling. Eh, y ese sería empacar. Uh -huh. Packing. Okay. About this. Vamos a la siguiente vocabulario. This is building a metal unit, metal or plastic uh, pieces by hammering or squeezing them together after applying heat. Sería, palabra simple, soldar. Soldar. Welding. 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 
Okay, cast, an object made by shaping, molten, uh, or similar material. Okay. In a mold, bronze cast of the sculpture. Este podría ser como moldear. El molde. Okay, cast. Press working to pressure on something. Press working. Eso sería como presionar. Para cambiar la, el, la figura, el tamaño o la forma. Also, we have machinery. A group of people or a system by which action is maintained or by which some result is obtained. A machinery. Okay, puede ser maquinaria, machinery. Tiene la palabra machine. Machine. Okay, what is mass production? Mass production it refers to the manufacturing or large quantity of product using efficient methods. Okay, massive manufacturing. Esa es una, una producción Masiva. Okay. Massive manufacturing. Okay. But uh, don't shut the gun. No nos apresuremos. Okay. Don't shut the gun. Okay. Let's uh, work in the exercise that we have today. The, the vocabulary exercise. Can you see the exercise? Okay, let's work on the vocabulary that we have today.
Okay, two minutes. Finish. Okay, uh, well, it says, what is well? What is well? To join. To join. To, 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 join. to join two pieces of metal or plastic by heading. Heating. Heating. So the edge come together. Excellent. Screw it. To attach one surface to another using a screw. A screw. This one? Yes. A, a pointed piece of metal with a twisted part on a colored thread. In steel of heating with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten piece of metal or wool together. Okay, so here we have two options. Definamos. Screw. Creo que uno es el verbo y el otro es el noun, el sustantivo. Screw es yes. to attach. Okay, esa es la acción. To attach. Okay, tighten. ¿Qué sería tighten? To turn an object as a screw. Until it is tight, tight and, and it can cannot okay. be torn cannot. anymore. Cannot be torn anymore. Excellent. Very good. Okay, next it says 
adjust to move yeah. an object slightly so that it is in the right place or it fits better. It's better. Okay. It's better. And a screw is a, a pointed, okay? A pointed piece of metal. Very good. Okay, realizamos um, el I wonder. Indirect informal question are not introduced by if. Instead, they are introduced with WH word. Okay, so vamos esta forma. Por ejemplo, vamos a pedirle a Miss Rosibel si nos ayuda a leer estos ejercicios. I wonder what the two pieces I need to wear are compared to. What are the two pieces I need to wear? Uh, I like I like to know when the provider will send the order of screws compared to when will the provider send the order of screws? Okay, excellent. And uh, how much or what time? Vamos a pedirle a mi Sandra si nos ayuda a hacer la lectura. Please. Would you mind telling us how much the provider said to process the order? Compare it to. How much does the provider share to process the order? Would you let me know what time the first batch is expected to be complete? Compare it to what time is the first batch expected to be complete? Okay, good. Excellent. Okay. Segundo. Estos ejercicios ya los practicamos en las clases anteriores, el uso de indirect, indirect questions. Ok. Bueno, para los que... Voy a, voy a compartir eh, una presentación. Por ejemplo, ¿qué es una conveyor belt? ¿Quién see the images? Sí. Yes. Okay, that is a conveyor belt. Also, we have um, the bulk production is the production of the product in bulk. It, it is common in the manufacturing industry where the product are not customized and the consumption is ensured. Okay, here we have a manual labor a manual labor. Ah, this is a screw. Screw. Okay. Tenemos el objeto y la acción. Okay, 
screw. This is Titan. Titan. Can you see my image? Yes. Okay, a screw, one more time. So, like I said, one is the action and another is the noun. Screw. Okay, here we have adjust. Adjust. Okay, well, we did this exercise. Hicimos este ejercicio. Okay. Ahora, number the drawing in the correct order to assemble all the parts of the bicycle. ¿Cuál creen que es el orden para um, armar la bicicleta? First of all. Number one. Number frame. one. Frame. I'm sorry? Number one, frame. Frame. Number two, excellent. Wheels. Wheels. Okay, the wheels. Number three. Uh, possible pedals. The pedals, or right? Handlebars. I guess the pedals. And then with the, we have the handlebars. And the last one. Saddle, saddle. The saddle and the last one, it is shipping. Shipping. Muy bien. Good. Okay. Bueno, ahora traje otro set de preguntas. ¿Las pueden visualizar? Yes, okay. Okay, we're going to discuss these questions and we're going to answer the questions with our classmates. Okay, the purpose of this is, well, it is that you speak, that you use the language with your classmates. Okay, in order that you get used to it. Vamos a... Okay. Okay, listen. First of all, we're gonna answer the question. We write the, the answers. Pueden escribir la, la respuesta. And then you can share with your classmates.
Teacher, ¿verdad que las preguntas las vamos a responder de manera individual y luego las compartimos, no? Yes, sir.
Ah. Ya. Ok. Entonces, pongamos eso. ¿Este qué le causa el estrés, eh, Rosibel? ¿Qué causa el estrés en tu vida o tu job? Uh, oh, no, yeah. sería, sí. Ahorita. A mí me genera dos cosas, tres quizá. The first is a uh, uh, problem to uh, concentración. No, pero sería cómo se dice esta esta cosa. Un uh, problema para sleep. No. Uh, Mira. Ajá. Sleep. Entonces sería como lo digo así bonito en inglés. Uh, this problem is sleeping or with Pero... the body system, including Pero... immune digestion. Pero esa... Perdón, pero esa sería como la respuesta de la siguiente. ¿Cómo sí. reconoces el estrés en tu vida? Ah, entonces la, la primera causa tres, eh, o sea, se refiere a las causas, no es cierto, no es la respuesta. ¿Qué lo eh, the traffic, eh, my boss, eh, ¿qué otra cosa? Esa sería la, la tres. Mm, quiero ver, no. Porque la tres... La tres, how do you recognize, 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 recognize stress in your life? Nice. Recognize, recognize. Entonces, what causes stress? In my case, O sea, que eso sí, sí es personal. No necesariamente. Ah, la número sí, tres, sí, la número dos, no. Porque la dos no la he respondido. Pero es que, que las causas podrían ser un, un problema familiar, mucho trabajo. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo pudiéramos desarrollar la dos? Sí, como dijo Concepción ahorita, problemas mm. familiares, mucho trabajo. Sí. <ríe> El, el, el tráfico, cualquier, o sea, lo También. que le robe la paz mm -hmm. es, es una tráfico causa número, el número uno, man. en todos lados hay. Ay, sí. mm, solo que en algunos lugares más que otros, definitivamente. Entonces sería, sería como family problem. Family traffic, problem, a lot of work. A lot of work. Traffic. Entonces la tres sería la que les dije la primera, problemas para uh -huh. dormir y todo eso. Sí. Okay. A cuatro. 
have you been under stress recently? Eh, el estrés también puede dar ansiedad eh, el, el estrés le Depende afecta le afecta el sistema nervioso central y eso le genera desde problemas musculares, problemas, eh, o sea, le baja las defensas y le puede dar cualquier cosa. O sea, que es como que afecta el sistema inmunológico. Sí. Sí, porque, por ejemplo, las la preocupaciones bajan las defensas y, sí. y con las defensas bajas le puede dar cualquier enfermedad. Uh -huh. Estrés es el, una de las causas más comunes para la gente que padece de hipertensión arterial. De verdad, sí, sí. va. Sí. Ok. Uh, how you been under the stress recently? Recently. 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 Uh, only my last 47 years. Only that. Only that. Pero fíjese que hay personas que no se estresan. Yo tengo un amigo que jamás lo he visto preocupado. Pero él tiene una filosofía bien básica. Estoy. Él, sí, él dice, eh, hay que aplicar el por qué y el para qué. Ok. Si algo tiene solución, ¿por qué me voy a preocupar? Y si algo no tiene solución, ¿para qué me voy a preocupar? Eh, sí, pero sí. Es, un, es un tipo que yo le digo, hey, man, y cuando tiembla, no, me dice, si yo cruzo la pierna y sigo haciendo lo que estoy haciendo. Si estoy cenando, sigo cenando. Y él, y él piensa y dice, eh, bueno, esta es mi última cena, mañana quizás no voy a amanecer. Mentira, si tiene más de 60 años y no padece de nada. Por eso, vive la vida loca. No se preocupa para nada. Y nosotros nos preocupamos incluso de lo que no está por lo que no ha sucedido. Pues. Hasta, de lo que vas a, hasta de lo que vas a comer más después. Pensando en, en, en el trabajo de mañana y no sabemos si vamos a amanecer. Mister, ¿cómo se dice insomnio? Ya fue, mister. No está. Hello, hello, hello. ¿Cómo se dice insomnio? Insomnio. Mm -hmm. Insomnia. Uh... Yeah. Gracias. Uh -huh. Insomnia. Have you ever, have you ever suffered insomnia? Eh, no. No. Rara vez, no. Nah. De hecho, ya mi reloj biológico ya, ya se normalizó. Hubo un tiempo, estoy hablando de hace como 20 años, en la época de estudiante. Eh, que dormía 
entre tres y cuatro horas máximo. Y Complejo así, de vigilante. sí. Y, y necesitaba dormirme cansado para, para poder sentir que sí dormía. Hoy no. <risa> Después de almuerzo ya tengo sueño. Hay una aplicación, les voy a hacer la propaganda ya que está el, 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 el equipo aquí. Se llama IV, o sea, IV. Es para aprender verbo, los verbos regulares y e irregulares. Entonces, es mm. un jueguito bien interesante. Y eh, va por, por niveles. En el primer nivel, ahí sale eh, los tres tiempos. El infinitivo, pasado simple y el participio pasado. Por si quieren practicar. Usted no, teacher, usted puede. <risa> Pero nosotros no. Nosotros tenemos que practicar. Sí. Vaya, continuemos. Pues, ¿en cuál nos quedamos? Sale otra vez. Y es correcto decir, I love the appetit. The appetit. Uh -huh. That means that you, you don't I'm... eat so often. Uh -huh. It's okay. Do you have your answers ready? No, mister. No. Not yet. Okay.
All right, let's start the, with the activity. Okay, and here we go. Okay, the first question is, what is stress? How would you define this word? What is stress? Is it voluntary? Is there any volunteer? What is stress? It's a physical or mental response to an external cause. Okay, uh, good. Okay, excellent. What causes stress? What causes stress? What causes stress? Hey, teacher. Go ahead, please, Miss Silvia. I sleep a little. Okay, when you sleep. Draw, okay. Water with little rest or distraction. Okay, distractions. When you don't, sleep, you don't sleep well. No, 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 bien. You don't sleep well. What else? Yes. Um, physical injuries. I'm sorry? Physic no, no sé cómo se dice. Cuando decimos que es, es, hay lesiones físicas. Ah, eh, physical injuries. Exacto. Physical injuries. Very good. Pain okay. wings. Tratamiento. Okay. Eh, tratamiento. Cuando hay algún tratamiento. Ah, uh -huh. tri eh, treatments. Treatment. Exactly. Short or chronic illness. Okay. Cuando hay enfermedades crónicas. Uh -huh, o... Chronic eh, uh -huh. illness. Uh -huh. um, or problem and um, asthma or breaking habits. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, another opinion. What causes stress? Me, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Um, feel under pressure. I'm sorry, under pressure. What? I'm sorry. Uh, feel under a lot of pressure. Under pressure. Okay. When you work on it or when you feel under pressure. Yes. Um, what are worried about something? When you are worried about something. Excellent. And have responsibilities that you can't um, sobrellevar or no? Have responsibilities. Can, when you can handle the responsibility, yeah. manejar. That okay. you can handle, yes. And uh, when you have a lot of work or activities, that you can handle in your life. Excellent, very good. How often do you work under pressure? In my case, I work a lot of time under pressure. Okay, how about you? How often do you work under pressure, people? Okay, next question says, how do you recognize stress in your life? Do you have any symptom? Do you have any reaction? In my case, I have a headache. You have a headache. Okay. Yeah. Only that? Or body age. Okay. All your body hurt. Yes. Good. Another headache. opinion? I'm sorry? I have a headache. And you have a headache? I, how do you say colitis? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, it is the... Okay. It is when the stomach get big, right? And you have pain yes. in the stomach. My stomach is hurt. Yes. Okay, it is colitis. This, colitis. I guess it is the same. Colitis. C-O-L-I-T-I-S. Okay.
And microphone teacher. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm using the headset and this works different. But thank you, mister. Okay, it says, uh, do you have a kind of red warning flag that indicates too much stress? In my case, in my case when, I'm, when I'm very stressed, I got a lot of pimple, which I think yeah, pimples. And also I'm struggling to sleep. It's very difficult to fall asleep for me when I'm very stressed. How about you? How Thick about you? In my eyes. I'm sorry? <laughs> Ticks in my eyes. All right. Okay. Ticks on your on your eyes. Another reaction that you might have? In my case, if I present symptoms of symptoms. colitis, symptoms and colitis of colitis. Okay. Good. Next question says, when you are stressful, how do you feel physically? I feel exhausted. Exhausted. Um, exhausted. I'm um, sleepy. Sleepy, okay. Good. It says, um when okay do you feel tired during the day do you feel tired during the day or can you sleep well at night when you are stressed i can sleep well at night and I feel tired during the day. All right, excellent. You can sleep and you feel tired during the day. Okay, different opinion. Okay, well, let's review. Vamos a repasar un poco el tema ok, the simple past tense simple past tense ok, in English we have two kind of we have two kind of verbs, right? Uh, tell me the two kind of verbs that we have in English What are the two kind of verbs that we have in English? Regular and regular. Regular and irregular. Good. Uh, what are the regulars? Does anybody remember the regular verbs? What are the regular verbs? What are the regular and irregular? Irregular, agree, ed. Ed, okay, you add ed or? Only d. Okay, uh, for example, it says when we have a verb, and most of the verb we add just D at the end or ED. Okay. For example, if it is work, work, what is what do we have to add at the end? ED. What? ED. Okay. Easy. All right, let's go over. Vamos a repasar un poco esa estructura que nos 
eh, se nos dificulta en ocasiones a la hora de hablar porque confundimos, la confundimos con el presente simple. Okay? Well, regular verbs. For example, here it says, yesterday I work in the evening. Yesterday I work in the evening. Okay, it says the rule. Dice la regla. Uh, we form the past simple of regular verb by adding the suffix ed to the infinitive. We add ed or d. Vamos a agregar ed o d al verbo regular para convertirlo al pasado. For example, a want. What is the past form of want? The past form it is wanted. 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 Want, wanted. I wanted to become an athlete. Yo quería. I want. I wanted to become. Me quería convertir. Okay. Also, like. Like. In this case, the verb ends in E. That's why we just add D at the end. Like. Like. Light. Like. Play. Play. Okay. Arrive. It is. Arrive. Hate. 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 Love. Love. Loved. Okay. If the if the verb Loved. ends up in Y, and before Y we have a consonant, we need to drop the Y and we need to add I E D. Well, we gotta at IED. Okay? If, one more time, if the verb ends in Y, we need to drop the Y and add IED. Okay, for example, here we have try, it is tried. 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 Okay. Uh, when we have a CVC, double consonant, we double the last consonant. For example, plan it is planned. Planned with yeah. double N. Uh, another case it is stop. Stop it. Stop. It is stop, stopped. Stopped. Stop, stop. Lo voy a dejar aquí un par de segundos por si quiere tomar nota. Play, played. Work, work. Want, wanted. Hate, hated. Love, love. Plan, planned. Stop, stop. Esos son verbos regulares. Next. ¿Cuándo utilizamos el pasado simple? ¿Alguien recuerda? ¿Se me va a remember? Cuando se, ya se dio la acción y, y la consecuencia. The simple past tense are actions that happened in the past and they finished in the past. Acciones que se realizaron en el pasado y finalizaron en el pasado. Okay. En comparación con el presente perfecto, que es una acción que comenzó en el pasado, pero que continúa. La consecuencia todavía se Exacto. Pero en, el pas en el pasado simple es, se hizo en el pasado y finalizó en el pasado. Ok. Okay, Mister, ¿podría says, regresar a, a, a la lámina anterior, por favor? ¿Está? Ok, gracias. Ok. 
For example, hay tres diferentes, tres tipos de pronunciación. La primera es con T. Si es una voiceless consonant. En este caso, únicamente vamos a agregar la letra pronunciación con una leve T al final. Like, light. A light. Ok, watch. I watched. Eh, I stop. 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 Then we have uh, the pronunciation with D. For example, play, played. Love, love. love. Answer, answer. Concert. Okay, y la con ID. For example, want, wanted. wanted. Uh, decide, decided. Decided. And hate, hate, hated, hated, want, wanted, decide, decided, hate, hated. One more time. Like, liked, watch, watch, stop, stopped, play, played, love, loved, answer, answered, want, Wanted, Wanted. Uh, decide, decided, hate, hate, hate it, I mean. Okay, may I continue? Yes. <clears throat> okay, vamos a recordar, aquí van a encontrar verbos irregulares, irregulares, irregulares e irregular. Okay, we have five minutes to complete this exercise.
Okay, finish. Not yet. Okay, let's get started. Number one, it says Shakira is perhaps the most recognizable voice in Latin pop rock today. When she was, was, was only eight, she dedicated dedicate. dedicate. dedicate her first song called Tus Gafas Oscuras to her father. Two years later, she, she, won. Won. Local. she won local and national talent contest. By 13, she had signed a record deal with Sony in Colombia, which result, 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 result. Uh, in her oh. first album, Mafia, Magic, a compilation of songs she wrote, 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 wrote. Um, between eight and thirteen years old, she was chosen to represent her country at the festival OT OT in Spain. But she was under the minimum age for sixteen, and she could not. Could not. Uh -huh. Pass. What is the pass? Could couldn't couldn't. Participate. So instead, Shakira recorded, record, 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 a second album of original material, Peligroso or Danger. At that point, Shakira took. Took, took took a break from music. Graduate. Graduate from high school at age 15, really. Went back with a 
advantages the result was the phenomenally successful pies de scales, which sold sold, sold oh. more than four million copies worldwide. In addition, this determined girl wanted wanted wanted. Um, to try her luck as an actress in Oasis, a soap opera, but she no. thought, she thought, she thought. she thought music was her life instead of TV. Then she began, began. began to be very popular in Colombia. Government Designate Shakira's official goodwill ambassador. Do you like her music? Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I don't like it though. Nothing. I respect. Here you have the answers. <laughs> in check in case you want to double check your work before. Okay, we have two kind of regular and irregular. Tell me the verbs regulars that you rem that you remember from the reading. ¿Cuál es el cuáles son los verbos regulares que recuerdan de la lectura? Los regulares, uh, dedicate, result, result. result. what else? Um, recorded. I'm sorry. Recorded. Recorder. Excellent. And what Graduated. are the regular that you remember? Wrote. Regular. Took. What? Thought. Um, begun. Thought. Thought. Was. Was good one. Okay, here you have rot, the rot. sample thing thought. Mm -hmm. Another verb that you remember. Okay. Stephanie. Ahora vamos a ver la forma negativa. Negativa y pregunta. Y okay, para la forma de pregunta eh, utilizamos eh, algo llamado auxiliar o auxiliar. ¿Alguien recuerda qué auxiliar utilizamos? Do. 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 Did. ¿Por qué did? Porque did es el pasado de. El pasado. Es el pasado de do. Okay, para, entonces los auxiliares nos, nos ayudan en, a ubicarnos en qué tiempo gramatical nos están hablando. For example, here we have in the negative form, there is no difference between regular and irregular. No hay diferencia con los regulares y regulares. For example, we need an auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb, that is, did not, or the contraction, didn't, didn't. Uh, after didn't, we add the infinitive of the verb. Okay, recordarles que en la forma negativa, vamos a colocar 
didn't y el verbo tiene que regresar a su forma original o forma pas. Y les comento esto porque ayer en la presentación me estaban confundiendo la forma negativa. Me decían, I didn't went o I didn't came. El verbo tiene que regresar a su forma, a su forma infinita. Okay, no es lo mismo decir, I didn't went que I didn't go. All right. Una vez más, para la forma negativa vamos a utilizar el auxiliar didn't más el verbo en su forma original. Ok, look at the picture, write negative sentence. Van a ver la fotografía y me van a escribir o decir una oración de inmigración. Por ejemplo, Tom. Didn't understand. Didn't understand. Very good. Next. Ok, Tom didn't understand. Next, she. She didn't catch. I'm sorry. She didn't catch. She didn't. The catch. butter. The butterfly. Swim. He didn't swim. The on the sea. He didn't swim. Very good. How about this? Sue mm -hmm. spent. Sue didn't spend. Sue didn't spend. Money. About this, they agree. <clears throat> they didn't they agree. agree. They didn't or didn't agree. Okay. Interrogative and the interrogative form. For example, uh, after the subject, we use infinity. For example, did you buy the book? Recuerden, el verbo tiene que regresar a su forma infinita, please. Okay, did you, did you buy the book? Did you buy the book? Did the children study? Okay. How about this one? ¿Cómo crearon una pregunta utilizando esto? Did she eat the ice cream? I'm sorry? Did she eat uh, an ice cream. Did she eat an ice cream? How about this? They sleep. Mm -hmm. Did they sleep? They. Did they? Did they sleep?
repeat date okay i'm sorry miss clarixa no de repeat que re la pronunciación es sleep o es chips cuando decía que se, se, ellos están durmiendo this one Esta, Miss. Yes. It is sleep. Yes, yeah. sleep. Sleep. Mm. Okay. Okay, teacher, gracias. Next, Next. Mom, mom feet. This mom feet. I'm sorry? No, not teacher. This mom feet. Did mom feed? Did mom feed? Did mom feed the baby? Okay. About this. Bye. Did Jane buy clothes? I'm sorry, one, one more time. Did Jane buy garage, garage sale? Uh -huh. One more time. I, I, one more time, please. Did Jane buy? Did Jane buy? Uh, a garage. Okay, oh. garage. Garage sell. Next. Okay, how about this? Did they, they win? Did they win the match? Them. What did he cook? What did he? Mm -hmm. He uh, he did uh, no. cook no. Solo el verbo. He no. cook. Ah, muy bien. He cooked. Uh, no sé cómo se dice el How do you say lobster? Lobster. Very lobster. good. Lobster. One more time. He cooked. He cooked lobster. Excellent. He cooked two lobster. What did she find? Uh, she found uh, Excellent. a baby. A mo to Moises. <laughs> she found a baby. A baby. Oh, a Moises, right. She found. How about this? What did they eat and drink? Uh, they uh, ate. They ate and drank uh, many things. Watermelon. Watermelon. And oranges. Okay, or watermelon and they drank lemonade. Eat melon. Beer. And not just oranges. They ate watermelon and drank juice. What did mom did mom relax?
relax her. Mom, relax. No, relax her. Sería, si sería negativa, ¿cómo fuera? Uh, she didn't. She didn't. Relax. She didn't relax. She didn't relax. Oh. Did they teach math? No. Uh, no. No, they. They didn't. They didn't. No, they didn't. They. Teach. They, uh, they taught geography. Taught. geography. Mm -hmm. They travel by bus. How did they travel? They travel by bus. Excellent. No. no. He didn't. No, he, he didn't. didn't. Yeah, he lived he live in, in France. 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 Okay. okay. What instrument did she play? <laughs> she played the uh, violin. violin. She played the violin. Where did she fair sit? The fairy. She sat on a mushroom. Uh -huh. Tom made um, a snowman. 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 He made a snowman. What did you do yesterday? Okay, what did you do yesterday? Volunteer I to work. answer this question. I'm sorry. I walk. I walk up. I walk up at a very very forty-five I am. And then I went, I went to my work. Okay. You went to your job. Yes. I drove my car and your car? I, I ate uh, beans and rice. Beans and rice. Okay. Good. Muy bien. Esta fue la pequeña práctica del pasado simple. Okay, donde vimos la forma negativa, interrogativa y negativa. El propósito de esto es que podamos recordar la estructura ya estudiada. Algunos detalles aún se nos escapan. Entonces es bueno recordar cierta información. No está de más repasar. Ok. Y right now I'm going to start taking the attendance list. Remember next week. And on Friday, we don't have classes, I, I guess. Friday. Okay. Let's start. It begins here. Carlos Alfredo Reyes. Present teacher. Cecilia del Carmen Hernández Sotelo. Clarixa, Clarixa, thank you. Present teacher. Calderón de López. Present teacher. Alvarado de Benavides. 
Present teacher. López González. Rugamas Melara. Present. Unes Mineros. Santana González. Present. Tobar Ayala. Herrera Lucha. Alvarado Mejía. Present. Mejía Hueso. Present teacher. León Rivera. Present teacher. Castaneda Velasco. Present teacher. Romero Ayala. Present teacher. Rosibel Hernández. Present teacher. Asencio Arevalo. Molina de García. Present. López de Cabrera. Tomorrow. Present. Thank you, Miss Silvia. Tomorrow we're going to practice the simple task and also we're going to review the uh, passive voice. Okay, let's stop right here the class. Have a good one and God bless you. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night.